if America is not aware of what's happening, if America is not fully eyes wide open as to what is going on by Chipotle, which has named itself after a, I believe, a Mexican dish or style of cooking. I'm not sure, I, but it's, it's clear to me it's not an American word. On Monday of this week, Chipotle issued a statement asking customers who are not law enforcement officers to leave their weapons at home. Yeah. Hmm, I wonder what's going on in there. Maybe something more than just burrito making. <laughs> they claim it's because the display of firearms in our restaurants has now created in an environment that is potentially intimidating or uncomfortable for many of our customers. Well, I guess your customers must not like the Constitution. It supposedly all started last week. When gun rights activists affiliated with the Open Carry Texas, bra, uh, which is, I think, uh, the thing that uh, our guy Alex Jones is involved in, brought military-style assault rifles into a Dallas-area Chipotle, scaring some customers. Well, I got news for you. If those customers had military-style assault rifles, maybe they wouldn't be so scared. Open Carry Texas founder C.J. Grisham uh, told Forbes that the trip to Chipotle with all the guns was not a demonstration, but it was simply a, them going to have a meal after a demonstration. We don't go there just to carry guns into a restaurant. We always let the manager know we're coming. We try very hard to make people feel comfortable. <laughs> Apparently, Open Carry Texas the group that uh, brought these guns in there, recently severed ties with Open Carry Tarrant County after Open Carry Tarrant County showed up at a jack-in-the-box carrying rifles without notifying the manager in advance and scaring all the customers. So, there, so I guess, presumably, if you're Open Carry Texas, the idea is that we call the manager... And we say, you should make an announcement to your customers. There's going to be men coming in here with uh, semi-automatic weapons. Don't panic. <laughs> <laughs> that should really help. So Chipotle has thrown their cast in, or cast their lot in, I should say, with the black helicopter crowd. Uh, and attempting, apparently, this is where it begins. The government will, will meet in the parking lots of Chipotle. And, well, let me just say this. It's quite clear what the government's going to do is they're going to go into the Chipotle. Now, they'll go into the Chipotle. They'll all disguise themselves as burritos or burrito makers. <laughs> and what they're going to be doing is they're going to be putting estrogen into the burritos feminize all the burrito eaters that's why uh so the idea is this what they'll do is they will confiscate your guns they'll turn you into big-breasted male metrosexuals now we have the documents i have uh, i've gotten this from a very good source i placed in the government it's told me i can't tell you who it is of course because i would never compromise my sources in that way now the way we fight this it's gonna have to be twofold one is, we're going to have to go to Taco Bell to support the freedom-loving Mexicalis who are going to be uh, allowing us to carry guns. And then, second, of course, is, um, is InfoWarsLife.com. Male vitality. <laughs> Drink it. Go in there. Show those people at Chipotle. So there you have it, folks. <laughs> 